Memphis Grizzlies. You've screwed this one up. This is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in the history of the NBA draft. Memphis pretty much always gets it wrong in the NBA draft. All due respect to the Memphis Grizzlies. Trust me, I'm from Memphis. I'm a Lakers fan, but I have nothing but love for the Memphis Grizzlies. You screwed this one up big time. Memphis. All right, so Jared Jackson was at the number four spot. He averaged 10 and 5 for Michigan State last year. I'm not trying to take anything away from Jared Jackson. I am not sold on him as a player. Now, I watched some film from him, and I watched him move his feet. He can move his feet well. I like that. But to draft him at number four, he would have been available at six or seven. You could have traded down. Heck, if you were that sold on a four, Memphis, you could have traded out of the four spot and got Michael Porter at, at, at 12 or 13. You could have traded with the Clippers and got Michael Porter. Denver got Michael Porter at 14. You could have got something better than Jared Jackson for the value of the pick. I'm not saying Jared Jackson won't be a good NBA player, but he is not the value pick at four. I would have rather went Mo Bamba at four, and I know Mo Bamba didn't want to play for Memphis. I don't care. If I draft you, play. What were the Grizzlies thinking? First and foremost, management, ownership, whoever wants criticism. Listen to me. The Dallas Mavericks and the Atlanta Hawks played y'all, bruh. Here's the situation. At three, the Atlanta Hawks were picking. At five, the Dallas Mavericks were picking. And right in between were the Memphis Grizzlies. Dallas wanted Luka Doncic the whole time. Atlanta wanted Trey Young. They made their decision that day. The only thing that stood in between Dallas getting Luka Doncic or the Memphis Grizzlies at four. Memphis wanted Luka Doncic the entire draft. If he would have slid to them at four, they would have taken him no questions asked even if he didn't want to play for him. He's the one guy that they that, that they would have picked without a medical report, without anything. Well, Dallas is thinking in their head, yo, how can we get over the Memphis Grizzlies and get Luka Doncic at three? We know he won't be available to us at five. They go call Atlanta. They say, yo, Atlanta, who y'all want? Atlanta's like, we want Trey Young, but we'll get Luka Doncic if, if we're at three. Well, Dallas is like, look, let us have Luka Doncic. We'll, y'all take Trey Young. He's going to be great for the future. We'll give y'all our lottery pick next year. You know it's going to be a lottery pick. You know we're going to be bad. So now Mark Cuban gives his fifth pick and next year's pick to Atlanta for their number three pick. And the team that gets screws is Memphis. Terrible management, Memphis. If I wouldn't, I'd rather not have Jared Jackson if that meant you could get rid of Chandler Parsons' contract. So not only do you not get a superstar type player, this dude wasn't even a superstar in, at college. He wasn't even a superstar for freaking Michigan State. He wasn't the best player on that team. That was Miles Bridges. So now you go and not only do you not get a, a superstar type player, you don't even get rid of Chandler Parsons' contract. I'd rather have gotten rid of, as a Grizzly, if, if you're a Grizzlies fan, if I were you guys, I'd rather have gotten rid of Chandler Parsons' contract over drafting Jerry Jackson. You could have packaged that pick and Chandler Parsons contract to the Clippers for Tobias Harris. I heard they weren't willing to give up 12 and 13, so maybe Tobias Harris at number 12. You could have did that. You could have ended up drafting Michael Porter, taking a risk on him, had Michael, Michael, Mike Conley, Michael Porter, and Marcus Gasol next year. And you able to go get a free agent because you don't got Chandler Parsons on the book anymore. What were y'all thinking? Y'all blew it. Blew it. Blew it. Blew it. Y'all blew it, Memphis. Y'all did everything wrong. Blew it. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing 